The hydraulic crane, outriggers, and compressor will only operate when the PTO is engaged. Cold weather will require time to allow the hydraulic oil to warm before operating any of the hydraulic equipment. Use hydraulic oil that is suited for the temperature. Engage the PTO with the switch. Manual transmissions require the clutch to be depressed. Some automatic transmissions require the brake pedal to be depressed before engaging the PTO switch. When the PTO is engaged, a red indicator will illuminate on the dash. Do not move the truck while the PTO is engaged. If your truck is equipped with an auxiliary power unit, refer to the manufacturer's operation instructions. You are now ready to deploy the outriggers. It's important to deploy the outriggers every time you use your crane. While it may appear like the truck is stable lifting light loads without the outriggers, the load is transferring stress to the chassis frame that could bend or eventually crack the rails. Use outrigger pads if the ground is not stable. Smaller cranes often are equipped with manual stabilizers and outriggers. Slide the outriggers out and then crank the handle lowering the stabilizers. Continue cranking until the bottom of the stabilizer makes firm contact with the ground. Larger cranes often are equipped with hydraulic powered stabilizers and outriggers. The outrigger controls are located on the back right side of the bumper to help ensure your feet are clear while deploying the outriggers. The selector lever controls hydraulic flow to the crane and outriggers. Only the crane or outrigger can be powered, depending on the position of the lever. More than one function can be operated at a time. To operate the outriggers, pull the selector lever rearward to the outrigger position. Next, fully extend the outriggers by pushing on the respective levers. Finally, lower the stabilizers by pulling the levers. Release the lever when the stabilizer makes firm contact with the ground and starts to raise the truck while keeping the tires in contact with the ground. It's important for the tires to maintain good contact with the ground to prevent the truck from unintentionally moving.